Welcome to the Outer Rim, my name is Jamie. You know, the galaxy can be a rough place. Speeders, starships, and droids are constantly breaking down and in need of repair and maintenance. And if you're going to thrive in a galaxy far, far away, you're going to need a couple of specific tools in your galactic toolbox to get by. And I'm talking about, of course, the hydro spanner and the fusion cutter. And today I'm teaming up with Brian Thompson from the Smuggler's Room and Kelly Stern from Props and Villainy to give you our interpretations of how you can add these iconic Star Wars tools to your toolbox. Like a lot of Star Wars props I end up making, I did not set out to make a hydro spanner. I simply found these cool industrial RF connectors I liked at my favorite used electronics store, Surplus Gizmos. I didn't do much with them at first because I couldn't find any matching male connectors for them. Then I learned the secret of the GR874. They are both male and female in the same connector. If you look closely, two of the tines are flared and two are straight. If you line them up opposite, they friction fit together. A light bulb went off in my head. These are like some kind of crazy RF Legos. I began fitting them together in different combinations and discovered I can make really cool hydro spanners and fusion cutters out of these. I went to town building up different combinations. Some even had secret compartments. I thought it would be cool to see if I could add some lights to two of the fusion cutters, so I incorporated a combination of 5mm and surface mount LEDs and added a few fiber optic strands to the tips. They're powered by a single CR2032 button cell battery. I also printed some small decals for them, courtesy of Ado Morin from Fabworks. When I posted a picture of one of my tools, a couple of my favorite other Star Wars makers chimed in and began making some original tool creations of their own. Kelly Stern from Props and Villainy is one of the most creative and prolific Star Wars prop builders in our community. If you're not familiar with him, you will definitely want to follow him. I'll have links for him below in the description. In typical Kelly Stern fashion, he kit bashed together an amazing fusion cutter with found parts, some plumbing and electrical items, and some strategically placed EVA foam accents. Kelly has a great sense of the Star Wars design language and always makes props that look like they came right out of one of the movies. Now most of you will need no introduction to Brian and Carissa Thompson from the Smuggler's Room. Together, they have built the best Star Wars Maker Channel in the entire galaxy. They have meticulous craftsmanship and attention to detail, and have provided me with endless amounts of instruction, inspiration, and encouragement. In the off chance that you're not familiar with their channel, I'll have links below. They both came up with very innovative and original tool concepts. Once I created all these Star Wars tools, I realized I needed to have a Star Warsy toolbox to go with them. I took inspiration from the vintage Rolly kit containers seen recently in the Andor series. I gave it a quick paint job and added a 3D printed handle greebly. It has a cool unfolding action that I really liked. I had fun building these. They have a hefty feel in your hand like a real tool, and they even came pre-weathered. Heck, I even made a scomp link. 
because you never know when you might have to open up an Imperial Blast door. You know, we had a lot of fun making these tools and we hope that we inspired you to make your own Star Wars tools for your galactic toolbox. And I got so excited about those GR874 connectors that I bought the entire inventory from Surplus Gizmo so that I could make them available to you guys. And so I've made up some extra hydro spanners and fusion cutters and I've got them in my shop at theouterrim.com. So check that out. I've got a link down below. And thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.